Good morning. It's time for another episode of Discipleship Today. My name is Bob Benson. I'm the pastor of Christ Lutheran Church. Um, we're using the book of John as a discipleship text because of that special relationship. Um, I'm going to start this morning. I'm going to be reading John 12, starting at verse 27, and I'm going to read this whole section right down to verse 36. Jesus says, Now is my soul troubled, and what, I, what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to show what kind of death he was going to die, so that the crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? So Jesus said to them, The light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. The one who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become the sons of light. This short section of scripture contains such such good encouragement for us today. Um, Even people that were walking with Jesus on the earth, they weren't sure that he was the light of the world although they followed him all over, and there was every indication that they should have saw him as the Messiah. Uh, And then they questioned that. The crowd stood again and heard it. They said that it had thundered when this voice from heaven came. It doesn't say specifically who this voice was. Uh, It could have been an angel, but I believe it was the Father confirming that Jesus was on the right path. Uh, Remember, Jesus was totally man and totally God. 100% of both and uh, there are times when his humanness needed the affirmation that he was doing the right things for the right reasons Uh, although he he knew that in the God part of him he knew that it didn't make his human walk any easier Um, but he, he wanted to foreshadow he wanted to prophesy about his own death and he does that here Um, and then they they respond we have heard from the law Uh, Everybody was concerned about the law, that the Christ remains forever. Um, And he does. He still rules and reigns today. He's still sovereign. He's still in charge of what's going on. Uh, So their question was, how can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? And does he directly answer that question? No, he doesn't. He kind of sidesteps it. He says, the light has been among you. And I think there was, a, there was a certain section of the people in the crowd that knew what he was talking about, that he was the light. He had said that he was the light. So he says, don't let the darkness overtake you. Even though he's talking about his death burial uh, at this time uh, and eventually his resurrection, um, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't pull any punches. He tells them it's going to get dark before it gets lighter again. Uh, and then you, we know that as we read through the rest of the book of John, the, the resurrection, and he's seen by people all over the city, and that really encourages. Here, I think it really switches the disciples over. There's, there's a, this new level of belief after they've met with him after the resurrection. You know, looking back at it, it's completely clear to us. We have 2020 hindsight. We don't always have 2020 foresight. And uh, so with the uncertainty that's going on in the world today, uh, God's still in control. We're going we're gonna to live in that place where we know he's in control. There's nothing that's outside of his control. He is sovereign. Uh, let's, let's live in that place. Let's encourage each other to walk in the light while we have the light. Uh, there is a coming day when Jesus Christ returns and... Uh, You know, he snatches us off this planet and things get really bad as the judgment of God is poured out on this planet. So let's look forward to that event and that day uh, and 
as my father-in-law likes to say, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus and come quickly. Thank you.